It's a day of celebration for the people of Tulsa. We celebrate this as our Freedom Day instead of just Fourth of July, okay? Because when Fourth of July happened, we weren't free. We were still slaves at that point. For Jamal and many others, Juneteenth is a holiday that celebrates the end of slavery. But the messages on the t-shirts and the sidewalks are reminders that oppression and violence is still prevalent today. A Human Rights Watch report estimates black Tulsans are more than 2.3 times more likely to be arrested than white residents. And then we've had a couple of incidents, um, particularly just a week or so ago, two young teenage boys who were walking in the middle of a street with no sidewalk who were stopped for jaywalking and one of them was beaten and kicked by a police officer. And for this city, Juneteenth has an even more important meaning. In 1921, a white mob attacked the affluent black neighborhood of Greenwood. This street was part of what was called Black Wall Street. The May 31st massacre killed hundreds and destroyed America's wealthiest African-American community. It's one of the worst incidents of racial violence in U.S. history and one of the least known throughout America. From the white perspective, none of it None of us want to believe that it was our parents or our grandparents who would have participated in such a horrific incident. To this day, no one has ever been accused, charged or convicted for what happened in those 24 hours. Despite the controversy around President Trump's visit to Tulsa, it has not only generated interest in Juneteenth celebrations, but also the history of the Tulsa massacre and has relaunched the debate around reparations for the black community who had everything stolen from them almost a century ago.